Good morning. It's Thursday, September 7th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Lead Me, Lord. And our scripture is Psalm 119, where the psalmist writes, Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding, and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Give me an eagerness for your laws, rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worthless things, and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways, for your regulations are good. I long to obey your commandments. Renew my life with your goodness. There are moments that capture a parent's heart more than anything the world has to offer. Fame, wealth, and anything else in life fades to the background emptiness when your child reaches out pudgy little hands to be loved. Two of our three children are in their fifties now and the last one's knocking on that door. Yet, I still cannot look at them without remembering such times. They will always be the precious bundle delivered to our home by a trusting Heavenly Father. The psalmist's prayer is like that of a child holding out a hand to the parent. The prayer begins with, teach me your decrees, your commandments, what I ought to do and ends with, renew my life with your goodness. Now those two are like bookends. The details of what, how, when, and where, that's all in the middle. And it suggests rather strongly that leaning your life's energy on a commitment to God's ways, in the end, leads to a life blessed with God's best. The prelude is my commitment to God's way. The postlude, a life showered with the blessing of God's favor. It's a step of faith to place all your eggs in that one basket, trusting a God you can't even see. But that's just the point. Just as my children couldn't possibly have known all the love I had in my heart for them, they still reached up their hands to be led and taught and loved. Now, it's an easy thing to point to these words of the psalmist and proclaim, this, this is what you need to do with your life. It's a lot more difficult to explain that to a person raised in this modern world of cautiousness, suspicion, and doubting. Our children are taught to not talk with strangers, disbelieve every word that proceeds out of the mouths of politicians, and to read the fine print to discover how they're being lied to. Many people are off the deep end with conspiracy theories. Truth be told, there are enough valid reasons to be cautious. Ponzi schemes, serial killers, clergy sex traffickers, dirty cops, and presidents on trial. Overall, there is a preponderance of reasons not to trust. And then someone comes along to say, trust God, he won't let you down. And the poor kid whose head is spinning from the behavior he sees in adults says, Sure, no thanks. It's no wonder that in the realm of human beings searching for something or someone trustworthy, so many humans grow up looking for more reasons to debunk God than trust Him. Many people consider themselves spiritual, but give a quick thumbs down on the church. They'd rather trust in their own idea of human existence and the impersonality of scientific explanations than some antiquated religion. (laughs) Now that's the bad news. Really, Russell? I'm glad that wasn't the good stuff. That makes two of us. The good news is still what that antiquated religion proclaims. God is truth. God is love, and God loved all of us in Jesus Christ and waits in the wings to forgive every mistake, every sin, or every horrible thing you've ever done. Period. Exclamation point. I cannot give you a hundred scientific proofs of it all, and even if I could, there's always a guy with an angle to cast doubt on it all. Just ask Eve. But I can offer you the personal experience of one who decided to take that leap of faith and trust the Heavenly Father I've never seen and find He's trustworthy above all. For you today, somewhere there's a kid longing for real. 
Don't disappoint him. Show him Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.